So the thirteenth plate that you're going to do is to be familiarized with the array command. So the array command has three different types. We have the rectangular, the path array, and then the polar. So in this plate, you will be familiarizing the polar one. So first, we have to do this circles. Let's start with the 19 and the 16 diameter. So let's first create the center point. I'm going to use a construction line for this one. Okay. Choose center diameter. Let's have 16. Enter. Let's choose uh, 19 for this one. Enter. So we have this circles. Now the first thing we have to do is to create this one. This figure. So to do that, oh, there's an error, by the way. So the inside um, diameter for this one is actually 1, while this one is 2. So let's draw that one. Let's create a circle. Let's have a diameter of 1. Let's place this here. Oh, let's use this one. Let's have it here. Let's just make sure that the diameter is 1 for this. Yeah, that's correct. We have diameter of 1. Now let's create 2. Enter. Same thing. Let's move this one here. Okay. Now let's trim this part so we can create this area so tr double enter trim trim okay now let's create the lines to intersect this circle from here okay let's use our ortho mode enter enter so you can do the same command again now trim let's trim this one trim this one Okay, now we have this figure. The next thing to do is to distribute this one all over the circle. So that's what the array command will do. So let's first count how many figures. So we have 1, 2, uh, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So to do that, let's highlight uh, this first using our window selection. Now let's click array, polar array. Now we are asked to specify the center of the circle. So this is the center of the circle. Now there's a pop-up screen for your array cre cre creation. So here, so the 13th plate that you're going to do is to be familiarized with the array command. So the array command has three different types. We have the rectangular, the path array, and then the polar. So in this plate, you will be familiarizing the polar one. So first, we have to do this circles. Let's start with the 19 and the 16 diameter. So let's first create the center point. I'm going to use a construction line for this one. Okay. Choose center diameter. Let's have 16. Enter. Let's choose uh, 19 for this one. Enter. So we have this circles. Now the first thing we have to do is to create this one. This figure. So to do that, oh there's an error by the way. So the inside um, diameter for this one is actually 1. Well, this one is 2. So let's draw that one. Let's create a circle. Let's have a diameter of 1. Let's place this here. Oh, let's use this one. Let's have it here. Let's just make sure that the diameter is 1 for this. 
Yeah, that's correct. We have diameter of one. Now let's create two. Enter. Same thing. Let's move this one here. Okay. Now let's trim this part so we can create this area. So DR, double enter, trim, trim. Okay, now let's create the lines to intersect this circle from here. Okay, let's use our ortho mode. Enter, enter, so you can do the same command again. Now trim. Let's trim this one, trim this one, this one. Okay, now we have this figure. The next thing to do is to distribute this one all over the circle. So that's what the ARRI command will do. So let's first count how many figures. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So to do that, let's highlight uh, this first using our window selection. Now let's click array, polar array. Now we are asked to specify the center of the circle. So this is the center of the circle. Now there's a pop-up screen for your array cre cre creation. So here we can change the number of items. So we have six there. So instead of six, let's have 12. And it will be equally divided in here. If you wanted to change the distances between these um, figures, you can do so in here, in between. And make sure that we untick this associative. If this is not unticked, um, all of, you cannot edit, edit this one individually. So we have no issues about that. So let's close this array creation. So we already have this one. Let's trim. Stream this area. Okay, now we're done at this portion. Now let's begin with the inner circles. So we have a diameter of 9 and a diameter of 5 and a diameter of 2 for these circles. So let's create those circles starting with the diameter of 5 and 3rd again same thing let's have 9 and 3rd let's create a circle with a diameter of 2 so let's just copy this So you see what I did there? You should undo that one to make sure that you actually click the center of your circle. So for that to be distributed again in this um, circle, the circle with the diameter of 9, let's highlight this one, then choose the polar array again. And click the center of the circle. So there are how many? Oh, six. So we're good. So just close the array. And I think we are done with our figure. Now let's just have to um, create the dimensions for this one. So let's start with the angular dimension of 30 here. So to do that, let's create a line. Extend this one. Oops, forgot the ortho again. I have to create that one again. Delete, delete this one. I'll try to extend. 
but it will not create any um, changes with our angle because our angle should have a reference point okay so we have that again let's do the dimension oh there we have it the 30 degrees okay the next thing to do is the dimension of these circles but before that if you can observe in our figure this line actually doesn't exist and same as this one i mean line circle so we have to create it in like a hidden line so to do that you highlight this one you select that one then choose hidden line if you don't have that option if you don't have that um option here you can just go here as others and then load and you can find hidden lines here this one actually have it already so can so i have this one so again you highlight this one and choose the hidden line so if you can see it's broken lines okay so let's have the dimensions for that diameter starting with the nine starting with the nine and the 19 so we have the 9, enter, and click again. Next, we have this one. Actually, this is 1, and we have the 2. So 1, 16, and 2. So let's have it, enter, this one, this one, and lastly, this the next thing is this one. This is just two. And then for the five. So let's have this five here. And there you have it, your plate number 13. So let's proceed to plate number 14 where you were going to learn about the rectangular array.